So one of the most enjoyable scenes to create in this uh, show was actually the Zing scene. It was only 30 seconds long, but in this scene there was a an asteroid uh, that zipped by the space station upper left. Um, just to review the structure of uh, data in the layer manager, the Worldwide Telescope comes with the ISS reference frame that's updated dynamically every time you start up Worldwide Telescope of the current um, ephemeris for the station. The uh, model that comes with it is, is very highly detailed model by uh, uh, Toshiaki Takahei, and it's amazingly detailed. You can get really close to it, which is fantastic. Um, for this uh, tour, I made another uh, uh, camera called ISS camera. That is what we're on when we move around. Um, and in this scene, uh, the slight motion of the camera relative to the ISS gives a, this, uh, this little motion here. Um, then I also have another reference frame that's a child of the ISS called Zing. Um, it's similar to reference camera to the ISS camera, but instead of having us as a viewer, it has it contains a uh, an asteroid model, a tiny asteroid that zips by the station. And so for this, I um, uh, essentially did the same trick that I did with the station in the previous slide, where I uh, put on the goggles um, in the MIDI controller, did um, adjusted these these knobs back and forth, um, and then set different keyframes for the Zing object um, and then had it move into, into the distance is linear. Since it's linear actually this, this interpolation is uh, is realistic as well as easy to do. You just have to set an in, a beginning point and an end point. I did have it sort of fade in because I didn't want it to be obvious when people started the scene or you have to look behind your, your head to see that. And then um, uh, when it moves it basically uh, comes on the screen here uh, and it starts its, it, its uh, motion towards the uh, end of the station, uh, which it goes off into this distance. You actually can't see it after a few seconds. But um, and so that's how I created the Zenith, Zing effect.